Hello everyone. Today we're going to get started with Wix Blocks, the all-in-one editor to create full-stack web applications for Wix sites. To get started, let's go to the Custom Apps tab in Wix Studio. Click Create a New App, and then select Build from Scratch, Wix Blocks, and get started. We are now at the Blocks workspace, which we can see has a couple of areas for designing your app's interface and coding your app's logic. Let's go over them quickly. On the left, you can add any Wix element to your application in an intuitive drag-and-drop interface. These elements are from the Wix design system and have all the capabilities and configuration tools that Wix offers. Drag-and-drop elements to the canvas. Layout tools such as repeaters and grid layouts, text components, buttons, images, and more. You can easily drag and drop them to the user interface. All of these components also have all of the different configuration options that Wix offers. Today, I'm going to design an application for booking a workout at the gym. You can quick start your app building by choosing one of our widget templates. Click Add Widget to see the widget library. I'm going to choose the image list and click Add Widget. Great. Now, back to the Blocks workspace. As you can see, the items are stacked and docked so that they ensure responsive behavior. You can see here that padding was added. All columns are set to max content and the items are stacked together. This ensures responsive design for widgets that will look good on any screen. It's important to create a proper layout using the inspector tool, which you can see here on the right-hand side. Items are docked and padded according to your design preferences. Be sure to also use columns and rows in order to stack your items. Next, we're going to want to add dynamic content to our repeater so that anyone using our application can add their own data and their application will work out of the box. You can create your own database on blocks which will install on the site with the application. This database holds the schema of your application so that users can add their own data later. Click the curly braces icon in databases to create a new database. This is exactly the same CMS that you can use on your sites. You can give it a meaningful name, but we'll use the default option for now. We will now create a database for workouts. Listing the name of the workout, the trainer, an image, and a description. It's just for your app here. I'm also going to be adding some data so that it can work well with the application that we built. Now let's go back to our application. We will now want to connect the items on the stage to our CMS collection. In order to ensure dynamic data, you can see here you have connect to CMS, connect to the collection of the workout, and then you can easily connect with no code at all each item to the correct item in the collection. See how fast you can already see your dynamic data on the stage. Let's change our button so that it shows a correct CTA. And that's it. You're ready to go. We're excited to see what you create next.